everyone, it's Teddy, and today I have another video about gluten-free stuff. Um, this is going to be all about breakfast, and as you know, most breakfast stuff is very gluteny, lots of flour, and I wanted to do kind of a list of certain cereals and breakfast things you can eat. So I have another list, and first I'm going to list some of the gluten-free cereals, because those are harder to find. Alright, so first we actually have a granola, and I eat this as a cereal, and because I am dairy-free, I eat it with an oat milk uh, oat milk in my cereal. Um, so I do the Bare Naked Cashew Butter Granola, and it is gluten-free, and it's really, really good. Um, another thing you can get is Rice Chex. They have all of the flavors, I think, in rice. I know they have the peanut butter ones the vanilla ones, the chocolate ones, and those are really good. Um, another thing is Fruity Pebbles and Cocoa Pebbles. Those are gluten-free. And I think they have a few other pebbles, like the Marshmallow Pebbles, and those are gluten-free. Um, Cheerios recently turned theirs gluten-free, so you can get Cheerios now, Honey Nut Cheerios. Um, Lucky Charms, they recently went gluten-free as well, so that's another one you can get. Um, if you have Annie's in your store, Annie's has some cereals that are gluten-free, but you have to read on them because some are just organic, but they do have a cinnamon type. It's called Annie's Cinnabunnies. I've never seen it in store, but it looks good. I think it's kind of like um, a cinnamon toast crunch. All right, and then they have Bob's Red Mills granola and their um, oatmeal, and I eat the oatmeal. It's really good. Um, they have the apple cinnamon oatmeal, I think they have a blueberry oatmeal, and then just a plain oatmeal, and it's really, really good. Okay, and then another few breakfast things is Kashi has some corn cereal, um, like corn flakes, because frosted flakes are not gluten-free. They have malt in them. Um, there is Enjoy Life breakfast ovals, and they're an apple cinnamon flavor. There is the Krusty's Blueberry Muffin Mix, and I have that in my kitchen right now. It's really good. And then there's Simple Mills Almond Flour Banana Muffin Mix, and it's really good as well. Um, I really love banana anything. I love banana bread, banana muffins, and they have that mix, and it's really good. Okay, and another thing that I like to eat for breakfast is I get the Silk Vanilla Yogurt because it's dairy free and I put some fresh strawberries and the bare naked granola in it and it's really really good it's it's not too sweet and it's got the fresh strawberries and the granola actually has little tiny dark chocolate pieces in it and it's so good with strawberries and then if you want to go out to eat for breakfast and you don't want to be sitting there and not able to eat anything while everybody else does Let's see, you can go to Cracker Barrel and they actually have some gluten-free stuff. Um, you can get like a fresh fruit parfait without granola. Those are really good. Um, and I think all of their meats are gluten-free. You can get like bacon or ham and you might can ask if they have the hash browns and if they are gluten-free um, because I'm really not sure. I know they have the hash brown casserole and hash browns but I'm not sure if either of those are gluten-free. So when you go to your Cracker Barrel, make sure to get the gluten-free menu and ask. Um, another thing is IHOP. IHOP now has gluten-free pancakes. They have gluten-free pancakes, gluten-free Belgian waffles. Um, they can do like special gluten-free pancakes instead of just the plain ones. So you can get like the, you can get the, um, I think you can get the cheesecake ones gluten-free. You can get the chocolate chip ones gluten-free, but one thing they won't do gluten-free is the double chocolate ones or the pumpkin ones. Those they can't do gluten-free. Um, you can also get their hash browns and their bacon and sausage, but just beware if you are going out to a restaurant to make sure you know, you know the risks of cross-contamination. Um, another thing you can do is you can look at your local restaurants in town because a lot of places are getting better at gluten-free stuff, and especially if you live in a city. It's harder when you're in like a small town, but if you're living in a city, let's say like Atlanta, there are tons of gluten-free places, um, like bakeries with gluten-free pastries and um, like gluten-free bagels and tons of stuff for breakfast. So I would check that out as well. 
and also I don't know if this is like a universal thing or just the ones I've been to but Waffle Houses for me have like cleaned off the little stove that they don't use as much completely washed it down and made me meals on there so maybe that's an option but I hope this video has helped you out some. I know it is hard going gluten free, but it gets easier and actually you'll find out there's some really good stuff that's gluten free that you never would have known unless you would have had to go gluten free. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll be doing another video on what to do when you find out you have celiac disease. So thank you. Have a good night.